the big story, the one that uh, actually we kind of let off Techzilla with, 16 terabyte uh, SSDs, the PM1633A from Samsung. This is the largest drive, period. Not, not just the largest SSD, but the largest drive you can buy or will eventually be able to buy when they ship it. Um, you know, SaaS, Enterprise, uh, I expect it to cost no more than a decent used car, a nice, clean, decent used car. Um, and it's using the 48-layer uh, VNAND. If you scroll down on the page, the, that second screenshot on that page from Samsung, there's a, uh, a uh, 2U rack that is packing Brace for Impact. Uh, as of yesterday, it was over 700 terabytes. It is now 768 terabytes, um, which Samsung described as the JBOF or just a bunch of flash. Um, the uh, no, no actual server inside that, just a giant collection of drives. That is a ton. That is a yeah. ton of storage. And what's really crazy about this, if you take a look at the, the next story on the list, Burke, um, so basically 3D VNAND, um, we're looking at 48 layer VNAND up from 32 layers, 256 gigabyte, that's 32 gigabyte capacity up from 128 gigabit, 16 gigabyte capacity, 30% reduction in power consumption over 32 layer VNAND. And all I got to say is where is my four terabyte 850 Evo comma yo exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Not that I can afford one, but I can smell one coming in the distance. Um, this I mean, we, we assume that's something that's going to occur, right? They're already talking about yeah. moving this flash into the 850 Evo. They're just lowering costs at this point um, to mm -hmm. themselves. Hopefully that lower costs trickles down to the consumer as well, right? Yeah. I mean, and it's also, it's crazy. If you've been thinking about an SSD and you thought to yourself, well, I'm going to wait till the prices have dropped. Quite frankly, the prices have pretty much dropped. Um, you know, a 500 gigabyte uh, uh, Samsung 850 Evo, 500 gigabytes, uh, SATA 3 is $177 right now. You know, 250 gigabytes for $100. A terabyte drive is down to 360, not even on sale, like just regularly an 850 Evo with one terabyte of flash uh, is, you know, 360 bucks, which is still considerably more expensive than a, a standard rotating drive, but is pretty freaking cheap. Uh, M2 drives are actually down pretty low too price wise. But yeah, uh, I'm curious to see how long it takes. Do they, Alan, do they expect to have the, the 48 layer VNAND? Is that going to be next year, 2016, this year? Next month. Wow. Is the 16 terabyte drive going to be next month? TBA on the 16 terabyte drive next mm -hmm. month for the 48 layer flash. That's nuts. I'm excited. I want less power consumption and double the capacity. Are you willing to pay $1,600 for it? No. I don't have sixteen hundred dollars to buy a drive. <laughs> it actually probably I, be more than that. It may be closer to like twenty five hundred. Would be my guess. You know, yeah. At this point, I just want, um, you know, desperation is a word I try to never use uh, when discussing <laughs> hardware. But you know, at this point, Intel Core i five sixty six hundred uh, Skylakes um, are two hundred fifty dollars on Newegg, sold out on Amazon. We still haven't seen a Core i6700K uh, Skylake for sale yet, which should sell for about $350. So I'm, I'm, I'm pacing myself uh, on hardware purchases to upgrade my long-suffering Core i7920 with a Skylake processor.